This is the time to have hips. It's almost like a movement, like something is changing. Society is infatuated with anything that's not the norm. Women around the world are getting wider, and for some, it's all going to their hips. In the big girl world, if you've got the extra hips, it kind of gives you a little advantage. I find my hips very sexy. I mean, I find my whole body very sexy. That put another inch on my hips. <laughs> Meet four women proud to flaunt their unique physiques. The record breaker whose hefty hips measure eight feet around. I'm extreme. I have an extreme physique. The curvaceous Austrian hoping to break into Hollywood. I get a lot of people, oh my God, look at those hips, look at those curves. The cheeky granny who sells clips of her hips online. God gave it to me, why not love it and use it? And the hip-heavy singleton looking for love. I believe there's someone out there who's going to love me for me. Hauling huge hips around can be a challenge. They need to make things bigger. But these women are working their ample assets to their advantage. Yay! And loving every inch of life with the world's biggest hips. <laughs> Michele Rufinelli is officially recognised as having the world's biggest hips. She's five foot four, but measures eight feet around. Mikkel's hips have made her famous, and a YouTube clip of them has already had over 10 million views. I have an extreme physique. I love my curves, I love my hips. I love my attributes. <laughs> Come on, help mommy up. One, two, three, go. But go. her 99-inch right. hips can be hard to live with. Sitting in, sitting on, sitting down. Ow! It ain't working. You know, those are some of my challenges. Mikkel doesn't fit in a standard car, so drives a wide truck. But this presents another problem. It's so high up that I have a step ladder. And I lift and step in. Oh. Uh. OK. And this is basically how I do it. It's not so easy to buy a wider house. I just think that society hasn't learned yet that people, they need to make things bigger. I don't think it would hurt to make it a bit bigger. I, you know, what's the problem? I have to do the two-step to get through it. And then I can shift around. And here's, then I, then I can have a little bit more room. <laughs> I do not challenge myself to use the normal, regular bathroom seating. I actually go to where I have more space. It's the same, same toilet size, but I have the, the disabled bathroom. Mikkel's bathroom isn't yet equipped to cater for her enormous dimensions, and she uses a special technique to get herself into the shower. I have to step up. I'm hanging now. Watch me. Over in to the shower. Lift up the other leg. Try not to fall. And I'm in. I cannot close the door because they haven't learned yet that this is too narrow. <laughs> this is my table chair, my travel chair, my when they don't have accommodations for me chair, this is my chair. I put this in my truck and I'll go with it. This is sturdy, nice and metal and cushiony. So this is what holds all these hips. <laughs> Mikkel lives in L.A., where size zero is in vogue. The city is also home to Austrian beauty Claudia Florence. She moved to super skinny L.A. with super-sized aspirations. Welcome to Hollywood. You have arrived. Thank you. I just feel like L.A. is like the land of opportunities. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is from my country and made it very successful. If I have a dime for every time someone told me, say, I'll be back, or hasta la vista, baby, I will be a millionaire right now. <laughs> Claudia's dream is to be a fashion model and actress, but she's found fame online with her 64-inch hips. I knew that, that the fashion industry was not really ready for someone like me yet, but I wanted to kind of like be an example to other women. And so then I just said, you know what? I'm going to make a name, household name for myself. 
I started like the YouTube channel and all the different social media and kind of build up quite an online presence. Hi, I'm Claudia Florence Fatanka. Claudia's ample curves have gained her thousands of admirers worldwide. I think a lot of people like looking at me because I am a very unique size. I am very large, but I, I carry myself with a lot of confidence. I'm here to show you that you can be proud of your curves. This is me in a bikini. I mean, I get a lot of people, oh my God, look at those hips, look at those curves. Wow, your, your waist looks so tiny compared to your hips. I get like minimum 27 marriage proposals a day. To have curves is in. I mean, I'm in. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> but Claudia has also been ridiculed for her shape. People judge you all the time. People would call me fat just because I had curves. Even in the gym, people will like look at you in an in a evil way, like, why you get this size. I went to get my nails done before and the chair collapsed. She responds by highlighting her everyday problems on YouTube. Airplane rides is horrible for me. My hips are like sore afterwards. Ew. You see this? My fat is pouring over the seat. They put everything in the armrest. And the armrest, they have like the food tray coming out. I don't know what idiot thought of that. You just learn to cope with it. This is me. And I love me. And if you don't like me, it's your loss. <laughs> New York is home to young professional Marlena Plummer, whose hips measure a whopping 83 inches. I always had hips. Even as an infant, I actually had hips. It's just a mystery, I guess, why my hips are the way they are, or the shape I am. But I love my hips, I love my shape, I love me. I've been a plus size girl all my life, and I never let that stop me from doing anything I want. I was on the swim team for four years in high school. Yearbooks came out, they're like, you were on the swim team? I was like, yeah, I lied. I'm half African-American, I am part Puerto Rican, and I do have a little of Irish and German in me. I believe that, you know, my heritage and my gene pool plays a big part of how I'm shaped. I don't mind showing my arms. I don't mind showing my hips or my shape. Marlena weighs almost 28 stone, but claims to have a tiny appetite. Because of my shape, my size, people automatically assume I eat a lot, but I really don't. My family is funny. They call me a skinny fat girl. <laughs> Marlena has a desk job, but her daily commute can be a struggle. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lord Jesus, help me, God. My hips always affects me when I commute on the train because of the simple fact I usually have to take two seats. I tend to sit closer to the doors because walking to the train, I end up bumping into somebody or running into somebody. I'm taking up two seats and people kind of look at you strange. Someone said that. Yeah. I do feel bad sometimes when I see a person standing up, but I can't help it that I take two seats. I do what's called a side shimmy, which I'll put I'll put like part of my hip on the, the handrail and then try to stuff the rest of the, the hip and inside the seat. It's a struggle. Coming up, Mikkel's husband is happy with her hips. I have a license to work with heavy equipment. You know what I'm saying? But Claudia's doctor is concerned. There's a much higher risk of heart attacks, strokes, diabetes. Vegas, women's hip size averages 37 inches. Denise Souder has hips twice as big. 
growing up, I was always the chubby girl. I was always the chubbiest girl in the class, but I never let it stop me from doing anything that I wanted to do. Yeah, there's a lot of challenges. Like, for example, I won't get on a roller coaster because those things are about this big, okay? You learn to get around your hips. You learn to embrace your hips. You learn to shop for your hips. Do all these dresses come in plus size? I do like to get up and walk from my seat to the bathroom and just kind of take a glance at who's looking at, at the hips. But if somebody wants to make a comment about my hips or my size, I really don't care what your opinion is. Big hips are a big attraction, especially for Denise's partner, Steve. I got it. You got it? Yeah. He claims that there's nobody on the planet that likes big women as much as him. He actually put a ad in the Detroit Free Press that said, looking for a woman over 300 pounds. And I answered the ad. I remember hugging you, and it's just like, God, there's just so... So, so much, much of me. Much of you to hug. It but did like, you realize then that you really, really like supersized girls? Oh, yeah. I like Larger my woman like I like my fries. Supersized. <laughs> Denise and Steve were married. But 12 years ago, he left her for a bigger woman, and they only recently got back together. We were divorced. Very ugly divorce. And now it's like 17 years later. Almost a year ago, he moved in with me. You've never said to me, you think you should eat that? No. Oh. You can eat whatever you want. You're not going to get the calorie patrol from me. I like that. You know, not everybody likes what society's image of beauty is, OK? You're beautiful Do you to think me. that there's more guys that really like big hips um, and they don't, like, tell it because it's not society's norm? Um, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's sad. So if I lost part of my hips, I wouldn't be as attractive to you? No. I know you would love me. Okay, I would still that's, love fair. You, that's fair enough. It's such a rare find to find the exact woman to be fat exactly the way I like. It takes a really special woman to be with Steve because you have to give him the freedom to say, damn, she's got a big ass, or damn, those hips look good. Oh, yeah? Oh. Minute on the lips, forever on the hips. That's all right. <laughs> Do it, baby. Guys will go to the ends of the earth for some big hips. Uh -huh. The ends of the earth. You about put another inch on my hips? <laughs> Marlena also found a man who loved her and her huge hips. High school sweetheart, Michael. He loved every ounce of me. He didn't care about the shape I was. He was in the military. He joined the Marine Corps. We were going to get married, start our family, live in a white picket house. <laughs> And then the sadness came. Michael was killed in 2003 while serving in Afghanistan. That day was just the hardest day of my life. I had all these bridal magazines. You know, you're trying to plan your wedding. People, venues was calling me. And I just like... He's not, he's not coming back home. I think me moving to New York is a new beginning, a new start for me, and that's what I really needed. I feel like there's someone in the world for everybody, and I just haven't met that person yet. I'm just a pedicure today. Can I get a please? Marlena is now ready to meet someone new and has discovered that her 83-inch hips attract plenty of online suitors. It's surprising to me how many men are out there that are attracted to me and are attracted to my hips. Marlena's hips are a hit with men, and she receives up to 30 online messages a day. I feel like I'm a celebrity. felt like I'm a princess, I'm the queen, and everybody's bowing down to me. This is Hello Marlena, I'm thinking of you. That big hot body of yours making me love you crazy. I love your big belly. I get messages like that. A lot of people comment on how my smile is infectious, which it is. <laughs> as well as looking for love online, Marlena has found friendship and support with other hip-heavy women, including her friend, Mikkel. We're like two peas in the pod. 
She's the pretty much the only one I know that has bigger hips than I do. Mikkel, who lives in L.A., found love with high school sweetheart and husband of 10 years, Reggie. A lot of people say they don't believe in love at first sight. However, that's how it was for me. These are little tiny steps. <laughs> she had a sweet disposition about her that really attracted me to her. Well, you know, I'm weightless in the water. You have your own <laughs> flotation devices. <laughs> I'm a big man myself, and I like to tell people all the time, I have a license to work with heavy equipment. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to wash dishes? Me? No. OK, put your aprons on. But 30 Stone Mikkel hasn't always been shaped like this. She put on weight after giving birth to each of her four children. There was a time before I had kids, I had a flat stomach. I believe that they're this large because genetically, whatever happens with me in terms of weight gain goes here. When I was little, I was a little skinny girl. I'll call it skinny mini. <laughs> I remember when I could do this. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Huge hips might be a man magnet, but they also carry big health risks. Claudia Florence moved to America aged 19 with dreams of Hollywood stardom. But soon after arriving, Claudia rapidly gained weight. I blossomed into this big, gigantic, 350-pound woman. She packed on 12 and a half stone in just six months. Doctors believed this was partially due to a diagnosis of polycystic ovarian syndrome. And of course, it all went to my hips, and I didn't know what to do. My goal was to come here to be an actress, and I knew back then they had no curvy women, so I ended up taking lots of diet pills and, and try to go on every diet I could to achieve that. Claudia is convinced it was diet pills that caused an aortic aneurysm. She underwent open heart surgery at just 33. I mean, it was very stressful. I'm very close to my family. And for me, my biggest fear was that I would die without saying goodbye to them. And it was... So, very stressful, but luckily I made it through and I just now want to use that experience to not have anyone else go through that. Today, Claudia is going for a checkup with her cardiologist. You have that fear and by having those regular checkups, it kind of you know, calms you down in a way. How about your calorie intake? Do you follow that at all? I usually have, like, my calorie intake is about 1,200 a day, 1,200 calories. Okay. Let's look at your weight, because I certainly I don't remember where what your weight was. My weight kind of goes up and down. It's like I'm gaining muscle tissue. You were 323 before, 325 now, so you've been consistent. But I like to look down the trend for a while. 280. Despite the fact that Claudia claims to be living healthily, Dr. Bryant notices that her weight has increased by nearly three stone. I mean, I, I really can say I'm living a healthy lifestyle, but it's just, it doesn't, the weight just wants to stay the same. The big issue you have is as you increase weight here, there's a much higher risk of atherosclerotic disease, meaning plaque building up in the arteries, heart attacks, strokes, mm -hmm. and the development of diabetes. She needs to be really honest about what her eating habits are. Her metabolism would have to be so slow to be able to eat only 1,200 calories a day and maintain her size that she would be malnourished at this point if she was really doing that. Yummy, pizza night, pizza night. All right, Rye, do you want with everything or cheese and pepperoni? In Las Vegas, grandmother of two, Denise, uses her hips to help put food on the table. Only in Vegas could you have a stripper like me. Who comes to Vegas for their bachelor party and they take their blindfold off and I'm standing in a bikini with Twinkies in my hand, okay? It's funny! I'll look around the room and I'll go, who's the chubby chaser? And it, every time what'll happen is all of them in the room will point to the same guy. 
I always tell the bachelors, I said, I'm the stripper you can tell your fiance about. Denise goes by the stage name of Sweet Cheeks, selling clips of her super-sized hips online. I'm a fetish provider. I have clients that like to be trampled, squashed, sat on. In some people's eyes, I myself am a fetish. To find your particular fetish that you like, and you happen to be a man who also likes that fetish done by a big girl, that's where you get me. Today, Denise is making a fetish video, which she hopes will be a hit with her online fans. Believe it or not, there is a huge fetish for balloons. What's funnier than a fat chick in a balloon bikini? Ooh, got the, ooh, well that we're two behind. <laughs> hey, can you come out and blow some balloons? You got more hot air than me, but <laughs> if you need help, I'll do it. When I go in to do a strip, I want to be sexy because there's nothing worse than a smelly, non-sexy fat chick. You know, all your chubby turns me on. I love a fat girl that's confident and thinks she's sexy. I mean, if you're like, oh, please, like, turn off the lights, that turns me off. Right. You know, I Oh, I, you've I never love... been a lights-off kind of guy. Oh, no, I want to see all, all that. <laughs> Here is the top. Okay. Okay. How's that look? That looks and good. And this is the part that's going to go around my hips. Okay. That's the front and that's the back. You know, there are guys out there that love larger women. So either go on a diet or live your life, but God, don't sit home and just be miserable because, you know, there are guys out there that love your curves. You, you got the camera charging? Yeah, it's charging. All right. Following her doctor's advice, Claudia is giving her hips a workout. It doesn't matter how much I eat or how little I eat, I stay the same. Or people always think that just because you are curvy and you're a bigger lady, that you, you must be unhealthy, you must be lazy, you must be laying around in bed all the time, uh, eating fried chicken. I mean, I'm exercising six times a week and I have a pretty active lifestyle, and it's still the same. And it's all in the hips. I mean, I carry it all in the hips. My hips are not going anywhere. <laughs> Coming up, Sweet Cheeks brings her daughter into the family business. But you are at 42. Oh. And Marlena struts her stuff on the dance floor. Because I am a big girl, people look at me and say, oh, she doesn't have rhythm, she can't do nothing, she'll just be lazy about it. Here, you need to get down there on the floor. In Las Vegas, it's showtime. Denise, known to her fans as Sweet Cheeks, is cashing in on the demand for huge hips. I see. There, see? <laughs> Yay! Looks good. Denise's partner, Steve, films her fetish videos for other men to download. Hello, all you balloon lovers. This is a day for you, because it's sweet cheeks in a balloon bikini. Just watch me shake it. Woohoo, baby. Let me let me do a little sexiness for you. And turn it around and show you a little sexy. And we'll pop one. Who's ready for another one? Woohoo! Ooh, shake it, baby. Now we're gonna do the end ones like lightning fire. You ready, balloon lovers out there? Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes! Get ready, one more. Yay! Down with the balloon bikini. Come back next time for more balloons. Claudia is hoping to turn her curves into a career. She's been booked for a modeling job and has come to LA's only beauty salon for big women. 
The salon is owned by super-sized businesswoman Jamie Lopez. I am equipped with strong equipment. <laughs> My chairs hold up to 800 pounds. My bed holds up to 600 pounds. Um, they can get their wax in and feel comfortable. They're not gonna break the bed. I myself have experienced a lot of discrimination at salons where their chairs couldn't accommodate me or looks and stares. I just wanted to make a place where they would feel comfortable. You're looking gorgeous, Claudia. <laughs> Thank Aww. you. I feel like LA is the worst for a plus size woman because out here it's not accepted. So we're gonna make it accepted. <laughs> doing my modeling and, and showing the world that this kind of hips are desired. Eventually, companies will open their eyes and, and just say, you know what, let's give this a try. You need to give us curvy girls a chance, too. Oh my god, incredible. I'm ready. All right, look at you looking gorgeous. Thank you. I love your dress, by the way. What was Austria like as far as being a curvy woman there? I mean, in Austria, it's really rare to have curves. Like, when I go back there to visit my family, I get, like, stared at a lot. Of course, yeah. At first, it kind of bothered me, but then now I'm like, why don't you take a picture? It lasts longer, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I went somewhere, and I literally couldn't fit in the chair, but, like, it was bad to the point where I was sitting on top of the chair kind of mm -hmm. situation. Going oh, on. yeah. I can't. <laughs> you should never, ever feel bad about your curves. I mean, people pay to have your body. There's many plastic surgeons that put butt and hips on all kind of women. There's a lot of men who love curves. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why my boyfriend couldn't keep his hands off me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Love it. After two hours in hair and makeup, Claudia is ready for her close-up. She's doing a photo shoot for a plus-size clothing line. Very nice. When I'm in front of the camera, it's like I light up. I become someone different. I mean, the minute they flash, I'm like, I'm home. Who oh, cares? We get forced to look at a certain criteria of women, which pretty much maybe only 10% of the world fit into that criteria. There's a market for every type of woman. She's learned how to articulate her poses to go along with her shape. Modeling comes easily to 23 stone Claudia, but hauling her hips home is a struggle. If you can go ahead, you can. This is always killing me. A lot of exercise walking up the hill. I mean, it's a really deep hill. From the beach to here, it's like a hike. Feels good, but it still burns. Are you back? Yes, I'm happy. This is complete. I'm very happy. Big hips can mean big books. And Denise's 24-year-old daughter, Rachel, is keen to follow in her mum's footsteps. I've never kept it from her and what I do. I've always been very open um, that your mom is a stripper. The name she chose to work under is associated with my stage name. I'm Sweet Cheeks, she's Little Cheeks. So she'll, she's done that so she can capitalize on, on what I do, and that's very smart. Today we're going to do some uh, hip measuring, tummy measuring, breast measuring and uh, compare to my mother what my size difference is right now to compare to what her size is. I feel like I've provided her a way to always have an income. If she chose to be a doctor, that would be her choice. This here is her choice. We do have fans that um, were following her and then have turned around and following me being her daughter. So um, I know that a lot of the fans will want to see the difference comparison between her body and my body with me being 
her daughter, and it'll bring in both of our fan base together. You ready? You're ready when you are. Here, I got a little pink flower oh, for you. Oh, awesome. There we go. What do you think? Offer my pink? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, cool. It is unconventional. I can't say that anybody's ever um, accused me of being a conventional parent. Not that I wasn't a good parent. Rachel, or Little Cheeks, is marketing herself as a gainer, which means she's actively trying to put on weight for her fans. We haven't done any clips together yet, so I think this is exactly the avenue that we want to take and use this as the, our platform together as the size comparison continues to go. Because the comparison, believe it or not, is a big fetish. This is a special tape measure that goes all the way to 120 inches. Proud stepdad Steve films their camcorder debut. What's your aspiration there, Little Cheeks? To be as fat as your mom? Oh, of course, yes. To one day get as big as... And as curvy? And curvy as you've got. All right, let's start. We'll do your breast. This is the one part of Little Cheek's body that isn't quite it like It doesn't mama. match. I got like gypped. But you are at 42. Here is the big boy. I believe that says 74 inches on my big fat butt. 74 inches, baby. We got 49. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Y'all need to keep checking in and see how close Little Cheeks is to becoming Sweet Cheeks. There we go. Get these things grown up. Go, girl. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome to Pole Dance Fitness. We're going to stretch it out a little bit. So if you can, deep breath down, breathe out. After a long day at the office, Marlena is ready to let off steam at her local dance studio. So you're going to step. And just let your left hip sort of pull yourself away from the pole. Because I am a big girl, people look at me and say, oh, she can't dance, she can't move, she doesn't have rhythm, she can't do nothing, she'll just be lazy about it. So think about rubbing your chest on the pole, arching it back, sitting in your chair, booty up. Good. Do what you can, so if you don't want to get too low. Nice. Good. Pretty amazing all the stuff you could do on a pole, huh? <laughs> Sometimes I'm tired, but I'll still move. <laughs> Just do what you can. Pole is very challenging at first. Close. <laughs> it's practice. Keep yeah. working on it. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay! Yay. After the class, Marlena gets to practice some freestyle moves of her own. I feel like when I dance, I'm in my own zone, and I don't care who's around me, who's laughing. If someone comments that I have big hips and I can't move, I was just laughing in your face. And I will prove you wrong and tell you, then you come out here and you show me that you can move. Watch this. After a busy week making clips of her hips, Denise is getting ready for a night on the town. We're going tonight to the monthly club for the big girls in town. By day I'm grandma and by night I'm sweet cheeks. Oh yeah. So this is where I look in the mirror and I say, oh, do my hips look big? And if I say yes, then I have the right dress on. A lot of the men that like that say that, oh, that girl has a shelf. So that's what that is called. So I guess I have a shelf. My hips, it's like they have a personality all their own. Steve, do I have a big bod in this dress? Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, Denise is mixing business with pleasure. 
one of her biggest fans has showed up to meet his huge hip idol in the flesh. I've been a fan of Sweet Cheeks since the uh, first time I ever saw one of her videos. I kind of kept looking for her because of her hips. She actually even gave me a dance. I was like, awesome. 25-year-old Herbert hasn't always been so open about his admiration of big-hipped women. I was a fan for a long time. I was just kind of scared to, like, say anything about it because uh, I was afraid that my friends and family would make fun of me and stuff. I call it coming out of the closet. It's a lifestyle choice. Coming up... Claudia faces up to the reality of being a big-hipped girl in Hollywood. So anything above 14, you wouldn't sign. Wow. Mikkel's eight-foot hips attract unwanted attention. I mean, there's no way it's actually real. And Sweet Cheeks proves that her hips won't hold her back. Woo! There we go! Mikkel, whose hips measure eight feet around, is proud of her unique shape. I've been asked, is it real? I get that a lot. I could probably write the book titled, Is It Real? <laughs> it's so unfortunate that people just view her on the outside. They've, their initial vision of her is, oh my God, oh, that's, a, that's freakish. Some responses positive, some are just disrespectful. Honestly, it looks like those desert bags that they tie on the side of a, a Jeep, you know, when they got water bags. Like, I think she put suspenders in there and she's hanging a bunch of jugs of water, sloshing around. I mean, there's no way it's actually real. Like, I mean, how do you gain that much weight in your ass and you don't have it on your arms? It, it's not natural. The rude part gets me upset. They laugh, they'll point, they'll whisper. I do love her hips the way they are. You know, they don't have to be any bigger or any smaller. They're perfect for me right where they are right now. But if they were to get bigger or even smaller, it wouldn't make any difference to me. I have something that everybody's not going to have. It's almost like having an outfit that no one else has. And I, I, most women would like that. Tonight, Marlena is going to a singles event in the hope of meeting a man who will be attracted to her and her hips. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm actually looking for someone who can look past the hips. Hi, Marlena. How are you? I'm Gail. Hi, Gail. You're going to play pool. There'll be two male partners. OK. And then you'll play for 14 minutes, and then we move them along, and then there's another two male partners that are going to play. Thank you. No problem, enjoy. Concentration's the name of the game. Yeah. Concentration? I think it's your turn. Although Marlena is enjoying herself, event organizer Gail isn't hopeful of her chances. The truth be told, I mean, it is much harder for a larger woman to find a mate, but she has to find the right man was attracted to that type of body type. Look, I'm 4'10". Not every man likes a short woman. There's a special kind of man that will pick a woman like Malena. I don't know if he's here tonight or not. Despite Gail's reservations, Marlena seems to have attracted the attention of a gentleman in the bar. You gotta, you gotta do this. But when you have your hand like this, it'll go like that. All right. My first time ever. Daniel was cool. He was very handsome. He was very polite. And he had a great personality. It was great. It was fun. All right. It boosts up my level, boosts up my self-esteem. It boosts up my confidence. And it kind of broke me out of it. So I, I mean, I'm happy. Denise and Steve recently rekindled their romance after a 12-year separation. Ooh. Still chilly today. 
Their relationship broke down after Steve left Denise for a bigger woman. But today, they're putting their troubles behind them and indulging in their shared fashion, jet skiing. Well, careful, hold on. <laughs> I just don't know which leg to put first. It's not bad when you're in. Oh, right here. There you go. Straddle. I'm on it. Woo! There we go. When I see those hips on the back of that ski, it's kind of like very visually uh, attractive to me. God's gift to me was cellulite, you know. <laughs> Denise suffers from arthritis in her hips and knees, which affects her mobility. All right, there we go. I feel like, uh, you know, there's certain sports or there's certain things that somebody my size can't do, but this is not one of them. So you could get out there and I could go as fast as the other boats. I can jump the waves of the other boats and I love it. Steve often worries about their future and how he will look after Denise as she gets older. You know, I want her to be as fat as she can be, but not be unhealthily fat. And, you know, there's a fine line there. And as you get older, you know, it can become more problematic. So there's part of me that feels guilty that I like it so much. It's something that as she gets older, you know, I struggle with because I feel bad about it, but I also like it. You know, so it's kind of a, you know, I feel very conflicted sometimes, especially if I know she's in a lot of pain or having a particularly hard day. He's had a few wives, and everyone has gotten larger. So maybe he's done now. Claudia came to LA with dreams of stardom right into my crazy studio here. Today, she's meeting an Emmy Award-winning acting coach to find out what it will take to break into Hollywood. They will consider you and me to be women with disabilities. Oh, my God. Well, you know that, right? I, I don't know. I, I wanted to know, is this, like, something that's going to hinder me to break in today, or is it going to kind of help me get into the acting world? I haven't seen anybody say no because somebody's hips are bigger or breasts are larger. After the meeting, Claudia is more determined than ever to find an agency willing to sign her and her 64-inch hips. Hi, my name is Claudia Florence, and I wanted to know if you have a plus-size division. And what is your maximum size that you go up to? 14. So anything above 14, you wouldn't sign. Wow, so I just called five agencies, and out of five, they only had one blood size division, and that one was size 10 to size 14. Whew, okay. What size are you? I'm a size 24, so. And, and I really refuse to lose weight. To be told that I'm 10 sizes too big is kind of, you know, it's rough. I mean, it's definitely uh, sad. It makes me very, very sad. Do you ever feel like giving up? No. I do not feel like ever giving up because it just, I know it's important that we make a change and I feel like I was put in this journey for a reason and I'm gonna prove them wrong.